more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Top billing. Yo, top billing. Your boy is back. I wanted to call on people who have played the great game of football. I'll do a little something different right here. You guys can join in on an ongoing discussion that I've had uh, with some of my homeboys about Georgia and its use of line shifts, right? Defensive line shifts. And when they first started this a few years ago, man, I thought it was the weirdest high school type shit ever, right? Because you're not gaining an advantage by shifting your line uh, right before the play starts as far as um, a schematic advantage or something like that. This is usually just to get someone off their game mentally and see if you can draw a penalty. And they have done this shit a thousand times and I've drawn a thousand penalties over the years. I've actually come to like this, right? I was looking up stuff and thinking about a term that people would say, uh, Bush league. I would hear all the time. And, um, in baseball, right. It's like trying to gain an advantage, not necessarily on the field, but by doing something to mentally take someone off their game. And I'm starting to think like, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't know. Maybe someone has a different opinion. I had a different opinion to start with. But my man Dalton Wagner right here at Arkansas, he had a terrible game against Georgia. They did mental gymnastics on this guy, right? <laughs> Straight up. You can see it right here. Here's the first one that happened to him, right? You see the, the shift? Boom. <laughs> he was done. <laughs> He's done. My man Dalton Wagner is actually a pretty good player too. Big Dalton Wagner. He's like six foot nine. Big Neanderthal cat. Right, he's like, oh, 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 what are we doing here, George? This little thing right here, right, shifting your gap responsibilities got this man all out of sorts right there. He's not supposed to be looking at the defensive line. They do not control whether he moves or not, right? Think about that. Them doing that, you can tell that's what they want to do because you can tell they start pointing and clapping and stuff like that. The aim of the game is to just get these guys out of sorts mentally. Check this out. All right, from a player standpoint, you guys got to let me know how you feel about this, man. Is this Bush League or is this fair play? Now, I know this. The first time is embarrassing because there's no way you don't practice against this. You know that George is going to be doing this, trying to get you off your game mentally. So you're going to be practicing against this. There is no reason for this to happen to you at all. And Georgia gets this at least once a game and usually multiple times a game. And we've seen it time and time again. So I'm, as a teammate, I'm already pissed at Dalton Wagner for that happening. Giving up free yardage to Georgia, who does not need free yardage to beat that ass. We already know that. But here we go again, round two. So you got to think about, look at that. That's him going against Trayvon Walker right there. Look at that. He got him. He got him again. They got him again. Look, he's holding on to his, to his, he's holding on to Limmer. He's holding on to his guard, right? Like a prison bunkie. Like he's scared. Like something's going to happen. Some prison level going to get going on or something like that. Holding on to him. And look, the line ship got him again. You see his foot, right? As soon as they did it, he picked his foot up again. Again, dude, I would be so pissed if I was his teammate. That right there is uncalled for. You cannot lose the game mentally. They do not control you by their movement. You're worried about the quarterback and his cadence and when the ball is snapped from your center. You already know the snap count. Georgia does not know the snap count. But again, they did it. And look at them. They extra <laughs> pointing at them and everything like that. Whoever thought of this for Georgia was a genius. It's crept over to other teams in the NCAA. And I've even seen it in the NFL. I right, top billing. So that was it, right? Nope. <laughs> Check my man out right here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look, he's pounding on the grass. He's <laughs> he's mentally fucked. Come on, man. Look at this. They clapping all in his face and stuff. Three mental mistakes? Come on, man. You know what coach will have a hissy fit with three mental mistakes. Coach used to tell me all the time, somebody beats you within the confines of a play, so be it. That person was better than you on that play. But three mental mistakes? You beat yourself three times? Pause? Come on, man. That just is crazy to me. Look at his disposition and everything. Oh, my God. You know what that reminds me of? All right, when people talk about Bush League, they usually use my man A-Rod as the standard, right? Alex Rodriguez, formerly of the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. Think about this, right? This man was a fantastic player, right? Phenomenal Hall of Fame level player. 
But he was always involved in stuff like this. Y'all remember this? My man A-Rod was coming around second base, right? And he's coming around. It was a pop-up. And he yells. He said he yelled, ha. Right? He said he yelled, ha. And this is what happened to the Blue Jays. I remember this vividly. <laughs> Come on. And these dudes were pissed off. They were, like, trying to fight A-Rod over this, right? Is that not a mental thing, right? If someone can yell, ha, an opposing player can yell ha while you're concentrating and then you just let the ball go, right? And look where A-Rod is where he yells this shit and then where the, the dude, come on, man. You mad at A-Rod because of this, right? A-Rod said after the game, right? He's like, oh, yeah, man, I don't know what's going on. I said ha, whatever like that. So it's that type of stuff, Bush League, or is it fair play, right? It was Georgia. You give Georgia credit for coming up with something like that. Actually, they didn't invent it or anything like that. But really bringing that to the forefront and getting easy yardage out of teams just by making them make mental mistakes. Let me know, right, if you're out there, if you're a player, if you rock with something like that. Some people might rock with it. Some people might think it's, you know what I'm saying, Bush League. All right? well, it's your boy, Murphy, Underground King. I'll let your boy, man. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.